is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. And welcome all as we come to you this hour. It's uh, pretty much what you look for in options expiration. It's uh, generally a bullish thing. 10 out of 12 times of the year, it's very hard to get a market down, even in a bearish market, although it's more common uh, to see that. But, uh, well, we've got a market out here that has a few things going on, but probably the big uh, probably the biggest thing is options expiration. And, uh, well, we're up uh, almost 2% on the uh, S&P 500, 1.8% on the NASDAQ. Uh, the real question is, is this just an artifact of options expiration, or are we looking at uh, some decent volume and a change of the market? We finally bottomed. Um, I showed some things in the newsletter this morning uh, that I'll show on the show. But there were a few things uh, that kind of told us that we were probably going to go higher in the short term. One is a lot of uh, wisdom of the crowds with TD9s. It kind of showed, uh, at least on the weeklies, we were kind of burning the uh, downside out. Um, volume today is uh, 7.4 billion shares. So that actually is fairly strong, not uncommon on an options expiration day. So there's a little bit more on that. But uh, we had a lot of short sellers come into the market yesterday. Almost always a good sign it's about time for the market to bounce a little while. Uh, certainly, if you are a short seller, you're going to be three of something, three uh, hours early, three days early, three weeks early, three months early, maybe three years early. Uh, so if you are bearish, uh, there may be something for you. But uh, almost always, the market has one more pop in it. That's what we're getting today, at least part of it. We'll be back for the show in just a minute. The reality is that navigating financial markets 